So in this quick video, I'm going to introduce the boxes we use on set on the Magliner and how we organise them. So I'll talk about the radio mic box, also the headphone box on the Magliner, rigging box, interior mic box, the boom box and the exterior mics. But I'll start with the radio mic box because this is like the primary box we go to all the time. It's a, our most used box and the most important one. So obviously we've got the Ursa straps on the top. Uh, these, these sort of live on the lid and we've got ankles, thigh and waist small and waist large. You can sort of see down into the straps there, is, uh, I, they're identified by the colour tabs. On the outside of the case we've sort of stuck this little identifier colour chart so people can remember what is what colour. Uh, inside this one we've also got lab bullets as well which we use from Soundguys Solutions to help the mic cable drop down the leg. Uh, and this thigh one here, I'll just pull it off just so you guys can see. It's got a uh, loop velcro stuck to the back of it so we can sort of stick these onto the hook velcro on the inside of the case. And inside here you can see we've got some thigh sides, that's a calf strap and some different colours of thigh strap. And down here we've got waist straps, those are medium and large. And in this one these are the smaller waist straps, all marked up with a little pink indicator. And those are the small ones. So that's 20 straps all fit into the lid of the case here. And also down on this side of it, we've got some additional sort of stickies and useful mounting techniques. So we've got uh, Joe sticky stuff in here, super tape. We've got some alcohol wipes, um, different kinds of tape. We've got some of our, our stickies. We have prepared some stickies that we've cut holes in the center of. All sorts of stuff sort of prepared in these boxes. This one's got fur in. So we've got large rye coat furs, pieces of fur tangle that we use quite a lot to reduce rustle. We've got some bubble bee furs in here as well. And in this pouch, we've got chest straps, different colors of chest straps. And also we're using uh, these belts. These are quite good, sort of like a small belt that we use with our pouches. Then inside this one here, this is like a general pouch for all sorts of things. So we use our moleskin tape in here. We also have foamies, some Tic Tacs, stickies, all sorts in there. Basically all of our radio mics need lithium batteries. So all the good lithiums live in here. And when they come out of the transmitters, they go straight into a dead box. So this is our dead bag, so indicated by being a black bag. So yeah, so we keep those two separate. Um, in the middle of the compartment here, we've got our wireless booms and we use A10s, the new A10 digital wireless booms and we rig these on a plate, an ambient plate. These plates are quite good to quickly put the whole unit on and off a pole. So if I was working with a boom pole here in the morning, I'd take this, just put it on like that and just press that in and this is the Soundguys Solutions boom pole quick release. And that's just a really quick way of getting the unit onto the pole. Now let's say if we were working outside and it was rainy and you wanted to protect that for, from the elements. We've also got these bags, which are made by KT Systems in the UK. And you can easily slip these over these, like that, and then do up the bottom and the top. Still allows you to see the transmitter. The cable would come out the top. Really do that up tightly. And that's a really quick way to win, uh, water protect the unit. Uh, okay, so also in the bag, we've got a pouch bag full of pouches. So these are all some small pouches with clips. We've got for the electro transmitters, that's a large one, which would fit an A10. Various things in there. And we've also got some pins and safety pins in there for rigging these onto costumes. And on this side of the, uh, the box, we've got the mics and the transmitters. So black DPAs, beige DPAs, brown, white. These are the new 6060 DPAs in there. Uh, we've got some countryman mics. We've got a load of Coses and DPA slims. And then a selection of transmitters. So I'll just take number five out. So these are all Muji cases, and I really love Muji cases. They are they're perfect size to fit mics and transmitters. So in the morning we would sort of take the transmitter, put a battery in it, and prep it like that. And then once it's out of the box, we would turn the case upside down, and a little indicator on the back shows that it's out. And one thing we do is um, we sort of hand to costume in the morning an Ursa case with a pre-prepared radio mic. So I'll just show you what we, we mean. So if we've got an actress and she wears a thigh strap and has a certain mic and a certain transmitter, we'd have it already and pre-prepared in a case like this with the actor's name on. And then that would just go, be given to costume in the morning or maybe even the night before. Uh, it would be on sleep so we could quickly turn it on on set. And that's just sort of how we safely transport transmitters and mics around uh, between costume and sound. So I'll just put that back down there in the boom box. And then finally in the radio mic box, we've got a little fishing tackle box which is a really handy little box full of all sorts of gubbins and mounts. So we've got RM11s, Hyder mic, LMC vamp clips. Uh, we've got our mini mounts in there as well. 
um, the old the old fart style DPA con DPA concealers, and I've cut them down with a pair of scissors. Um, inside here, we've got uh, hair clips. So these are the Hydermike hair clips, which we've been using at our workshops quite a lot recently, and lots of wind protection up here. These are special DPA wind protection. So you push the uh, DPA inside that part of the wind protector, and then these provide really great wind cover. We've also got some uh, bubble bees up here as well white and black bubble bees and all sorts of different mounts things for these are the gags that go on cos 11s and these are some vamp clips which are really great from lmc so a whole selection of stuff in there right and now onto the headphone box so this is what we are we would open up in the morning refresh all the batteries in these and these will go out to crew and and to ourselves so we've got 10 receivers in this box so like one to eight usually go out to like the director continuity maybe a producer or a writer on set so they'd receive one of these and then also what we have in this box are a load of headphones for the crew and then the batteries that they would the uh, we'd use rechargeable batteries with these so we'd definitely be charging these up every night uh, but my my crew my boom ops both wear a slightly different headphones to everyone else so these are hd26s but the unique thing with these is they've got a flip down mic so basically if i put this on uh, if i flip this down this mic now engages and at the end of the cable here there's a plug for the mic and a plug for the headphones so i would give my boom ops a, a transmitter then this would plug into the transmitter when this is flipped down this transmits this sound to my return feed and then i can then listen to my boom ops talking to me on a direct line and i can talk back to them on a private line because their receiver receives a private signal so it's a, it's a way of having a nice two-way conversation or even three-way conversation with your team without worrying about talking into a microphone that everyone else can hear, uh, which is talking into the booms is like the traditional way of communicating on set, but everyone can hear the booms. So anyway, that's the way, that's the headphone box. And uh, low down on the mag line here, we've got the interior mic box. This out. So we'd be using this sort of, uh, if we're doing anything in a studio or inside. Uh, primary mics I go to for doing interiors is the, uh, the Sherps MK41. So this is an MK41 here. It's a super cardioid, so it's got a bit of directionality. Um, it's MK41 there. It's using a cut 60, which is a low cut filter. And back here, these all sort of parts screw together. And this part is a preamp. And it's called a CMC6 preamp. And it's, these are just beautiful, lovely microphones. And uh, the closer you can get them to the actor, the better, basically. <laughs> uh, you clip them onto, this is a Sonella 06 mount. These are really nice interior mounts very sort of like the suspension on them is just gorgeous you really don't hear anything that you might be tapping on a boom pole and again these just quickly go onto the pole they go on like that and that's all solid and if we wanted a bit more directionality from a microphone interior we would look at using a more directional mic so we've got two cmit 5u's in the box as well so those can quickly go in and be used as well on a, on a slightly different larger 06 mount and as well if you needed to use a gag we'd use all sorts of different kinds of gags on the mics so these are shirts gags we even take uh, foams and we cut them down a little bit just to get the maximum proximity of the capsule to be on the edge of frame you sort of see difference of foams when we've cut them down and we use also have a Ryko the Ryko basketball in here as well this is quite nice to do fast swings on a boom so yeah all sorts of uh, all sorts of things going on in that box but if you go outside and you need wind protection, then it's the exterior in my box. I'll just grab that. So in here, again, we're using CMIT 5Us, but they're in baskets, much larger baskets. The idea with these baskets is it really helps keep clear air around the microphones. And uh, what you can do is if you're in a light breezy situation, you might just cover the top of this basket in a silk like that. It's just a very light silk. That works quite well. But if you're in heavy wind, and you cover it in a piece of fur like this. So the big furry from Sonella works really well, but just keep in mind that if it ever gets matted, it's a little bit kind of matted on itself, we give it a good brush, give it a nice brush down, make it all soft and fluffy, and that really helps the sound sort of, you know, it helps it by separating all the furs out, it can really help make the wind protection just a bit more effective and mu muff less muffled sound as well, if you, the fur is nice and soft. So put that all back together. And 
finally the rigging box. And this box is great for planting microphones, maybe doing rigs in cars, if you're really needing to get a, a mic in a certain place on a desk. Uh, little rigs or big rigs, all sorts of sizes are catered for in here. So we've got the big magic arms. Um, that sort of thing might be holding up a, a heavy rig somewhere. Or if you're doing something much lighter, like in, inside a car, you might want to rig that inside a car, just a small rig under the steering wheel. And the mic just sort of fits into there. These are lovely little uh, Noga arms. No go. And um, we also have these stands, and I really love these stands. So like you could take a mic, screw this into here. If you wanted a longer extension on that, you could just sort of take a, a long extension, screw that in and then put that on top. So this allows all sorts of levels of length. And then you can just sort of open up the base on this thing and put that down somewhere. And it just gives you a really solid base to then put a microphone on top. So these are really great. So yeah, that's the rigging box. And like, um, yeah, what else can I show you? Oh yeah, the ends of the mag liner. Obviously, you've got your gaffer tape, you've got your water protective bags down there. And on the other end over here, we've got some mag lights, useful mag lights to put on the mag liner and head torches for everyone sort of living there. So if we're doing a night shoot and it's all cold and nasty, we just put that up there, turn that on. We've got light over the mag liner and everything hopefully stays dry and uh, we can get through a horrible night shoot with a, with a, in the tent and surrounded by our kit. Anyway, <laughs> I hope this has been a useful little uh, introduction to the way we organise our boxes and please let me know what you think. Thank you.